Hello and welcome to this review of Firefly Pink Lemonade. Now previously I did a review of the Fire, the original Firefly Sweet Tea Lemonade, which was exemplified by its extreme sweetness, but apparently that's how Southern Sweet Tea is supposed to be. I grew up more or less drinking sweet tea, but here in Southeastern Louisiana it wasn't. As sweet is what apparently other people think sweet tea is supposed to be like. Okay, but anyway, this is from South Carolina, North Charleston, South Carolina. The company, Firefly Distillery, they make regular vodka. They make regular rum, which apparently you can only buy in South Carolina. And, and a whole host of other flavored vodkas and rums. And rum and vodka ready to drink things. But this is one of their RTDs, ready to drink products and I bought this at Big River and according to their located to Big River is the only place around here that sells Firefly products. Although I saw a local New Orleans area grocery store selling I think the lemonade flavor vodka or sale in the paper. Firefly Pink Lemonade blends our handcrafted straight vodka. You can buy their Straight buck with the taste of fresh squeezed lemonade with a splash of natural ruby red grapefruit flavor. Just pour over ice and enjoy this refreshing cocktail. This makes for some smooth sipping. Warning, this ain't your grandma's lemonade. I don't know, I think people's grandmas be drinking more vodka than you think. All right, but anyway. sounds to come in. Um, I bought this at Big River. They were $2.39 a bottle, which is not bad looking at the big bottle size price on Total Wines website. Um, showing a firefly with the light coming out its tail and and all of that. And the palmetto tree and the crescent moon for South Carolina. But this product is actually produced in Owensboro, Kentucky. Because they said on the Firefly website that all the vodkas and flavor vodka concoctions that they sell outside of South Carolina are produced in Kentucky. They called it their sister distilleries, which got me suspicious. And I checked, I don't know, I just had a funny feeling when I saw Owensboro. I looked up Sazerac.com, and in their portfolio they had Firefly. But on the Firefly website, they don't reference Sazerac at all. I think it's a collaboration, not a direct ownership. Okay, but whatever. Um, I believe that is the case. They made a partnership. Lemonade flavored vodka with natural ruby red grapefruit flavor and certified color. So it's pink because they got food coloring in it, okay? If it's red grapefruit flavored natural, uh, if it's red grapefruit natural flavoring, it has to come from grapefruit, okay? I've done enough research on that. Okay, people will say, no, it's some other chemical that mimics grapefruit. No, that's an artificial flavoring. It's a chemical flavoring that mimics an actual flavoring. But if it says natural peanut butter flavoring, for instance, it has to come from peanuts. Okay, anyway, um, enough of that. It's clear. It's a little hazy, though. It's pink, like, uh, you know, pink lemonade, which, so I guess... This is really just like lemonade, but uses food coloring. But uh, some people say, no, pink lemonade has the grape, the grapefruit aspect, which makes sense. Okay. <sighs> smells like lemonade. You're not going to pick up the vodka aromas and flavors if it's properly produced, because vodka is supposed to be neutral in aroma and flavor, which begs the question of why are you paying... A lot of money extra for vodka when it's all supposed to have no flavor. All right, anyway. I think Owensboro, Kentucky, which is the Glenmore Distillery. Glenmore, an old distilling company from the 1800s that is currently owned by Ding 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 Sazerac. I think they're bringing a lot of sugar cane up the Mississippi River on barges, and they're dropping it there. It might be processed sugar, you know, already done. 
from one of the sugar mills along the Mississippi River here. And they're taking advantage of it because it's pretty sweet, just like the sweet tea. I couldn't drink too much of this. It would just make me black out or something. Um, it's not quite as sugary sweet as the sweet tea, but it's close. I mean, it's, I mean, lemonade is supposed to be sugary sweet, so I'm not saying it's improper. It isn't. I would definitely put this in the freezer for 30 minutes after being in the fridge for three or four days, okay? Never entertain the idea of drinking these at room temperature. It would be a disastrous decision. Is it tart? Mildly. I would prefer if it was more of a, a, a stronger tart flavor from grapefruit, but then uh, that would turn off most of the customers who want sweet lemonade flavor with a touch of grapefruit, like it says on the label. So, um, okay, medium body, mostly sweet finish. Uh, why would people buy a whole handle jug of this, which they, they sell the, the handles at Total Wine that are the same design as this, although much bigger, and about the same price per ounce. Um, I don't know if people are buying these to make their own admixtures, you know, their own concoctions, which is probably common. Or they just drink sipping them. Let's hope they're sipping them. By the poolside in the summer, that could be a common thing. I guess in South Carolina, Firefly appears, it appears sort of like a legendary company getting a few states outside of South Carolina, people know about it. And when you get all the way out here to Louisiana, far west of South Carolina, it's around, but it's not exactly, you know, well known. But that could change if they're in collaboration with Sazerac, for sure. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it, assuming you like to drink nearly 13%. <laughs> um, very sweet, ready to drink products. And I, from what I've observed, a lot of people like to do that. So uh, yeah, it's um, not totally ideal, in which case it would, it would get 100 out of 100, but uh, it's like the sweet tea, it's very well done. I mean, Sazerac does their own, it's only natural that they would collaborate because Sazerac does their own line of these things with the chichis which is another thing where they got a license from another company and they're like, well, we'll make all that for you, you know, because Chi Chi's is a big Mexican restaurant chain in Europe, uh, was big in the United States at one point. But, um, and they make all kind of Chi Chi's taco seasoning and burrito flowers and everything. Um, not my kind of thing to drink, but, um, <sighs> I'll pass out, but uh, it's um, it's definitely on point in what it's supposed to be. So, like Archie Bunker told uh, Maud's daughter in 1972, he said, "Is your life? Is your life?" And I'm gonna end this review by saying, "Lazy, lay, bon temps, lay." Whoo! Y'all go to Owen. No, scratch that. We'll, 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 you could go there maybe and tour that, but go to uh, North Charleston, South Carolina and tour the Firefly Distillery.